Um, just uh, have a look on send what is mean by standard enthalpy change of combustion. It is the enthalpy change when one mole substance carry out complete combustion in oxygen under standard conditions. And um, you have to know how to write the equation of standard enthalpy change of combustion after giving a delta HC for you. And then uh, the, the page 14 is about the experiment to determine the delta H combustion. Um, we know that uh, the, com um, the combustion, uh, example, ethanol uh, burn in oxygen forming carbon dioxide and water. It burns and releases heat. Um, we measure the heat released by water. So at the bottom, uh, we have the substance, ethanol, and allow it to burn in oxygen. Heat released, and the heat is used to heat up the water. The Water, uh, example, it is um, VCM cube of the water. And you can change the VCM cube of water by multiply density of water. Provided that the unit of volume is VCM cube and the density of water is gram per dm cube, then it is the mass of the water in a container. And then uh, you have the mass of the water and you have the you have to given a specific heat capacity of water um, and the temperature can be recorded by thermometer. We can measure the initial temperature and final temperature and we use the formula M refer to the mass of the water in the container C specific heat capacity of the water Delta T refer to starting and final temperature then we can calculate the heat absorbed by the water and assume it is equal to the heat released by the burning combustion of Ethanol. After knowing the energy released, um, then you need to find out the number of mole of ethanol burns in this experiment. And one uh, and heat over number of mole of ethanol is the enthalpy change of combustion and the uh, combustion reaction usually is exothermic so um, we put a negative sign in the front of the term so how uh, the how the data used to find the delta H uh, um, we have the bottom a spirit burner Containing ethanol, 
uh, before it burns, it has a mass of 55.87 gram. And after it burns, um, the final mass decreases to 55.41 gram. That means the difference is equal to the mass of the ethanol combusted. And over the molar mass of ethanol, that is 46, and you can get the number of moles of the ethanol burned in this experiment. And then the container, the can, contain the water, but it has a mass of 200.2 gram. And and it is the mass of the water m specific heat capacity of the water is 4.2 joule per one gram and per k that is uh, you need to have 4.2 joule for each gram of water increase by one kelvin the temperature of the water is um, changed from changing from 20 degrees Celsius to 28 degrees Celsius. And there is a temperature rise by 8 kilojoule, 8, sorry, 8 degrees Celsius. And the delta T is 8 degrees Celsius. Or um, if you add two seven three degrees Celsius to T one and two seven three degree um, to T two, and change it into the unit into Kelvin, the temperature wise also I uh, will give you H K. Or you can say the temperature wise by H degree Celsius is equal to HK. So um, just um, you can add 273 to them and then the difference is HK or H degree Celsius equal to HK. Okay. The mass is 200 and specific heat capacity of water is 4.2 and temperature is HK temperature rise and the energy when you multiply together you have 6720 joule and over the number of mole you have a 6720000 joule per mole and usually our energy um, delta H is in the unit of kilojoule per mole. So you need to uh, divide it by 1000 change to kilojoule per mole. And there is a temperature wise exothermic reaction. Remember to add the minus sign in front of the numerical value. Okay, it is the, how to get the envelope change of combustion using the experiment. And the setup of this experiment, you can call this carolimeter. Carol, carolimeter. C A L O R O I M E T E R O and not C O L O R O. And uh, for this experiment, we have some assumptions here. Um, we know that the thermometer absorbs heat as uh, just like water as, and the container also absorb heat just like water. We need to take into account. And during the combustion, um, sometimes it may be incomplete combustion. Black smoke produced. 
and for the heat tank uh, of the water we need to keep stir the water such that it has a uniform heating and for water it absorbs heat and heat continuously loose to surroundings so the assumptions make here is we need we know that heat loss to surroundings and the metal can thermometer heat capacity should take into account and in complete combustion occur and they give a error and also the conditions um is it equal to 25 degrees celsius and 180 m if not it is not a standard conditions